This variety of spaniel appeared in the 17th century by crossbreeding with the Japanese Chin and immediately fell in love with the English royal court. King Charles adored the little dog so much that he would put all public affairs to the bottom of his list just to play with his pets for an extra couple of hours. Well, the royal taste is impeccable, the breed is beautiful and affectionate, a real companion dog that follows its owner's tail. Cavaliers live up to 15 years, they are small dogs no more than 8 kilograms, height at withers 25 to 35 centimeters. The name of the breed is consonant with the related King Charles Spaniel, to avoid confusion they are used to call just cavaliers. Cavaliers are domestic dogs, which immediately become the object of love of all family members. They are sociable, they like attention, because these dogs willingly obey humans, and they just adore children. Talkative cavaliers willingly and a lot of barking, but their barking is not malicious. With their voices they express delight and joyful emotions. You will not make a watchdog of them, spaniels are ready to make friends with anyone who petties them. For all the good-naturedness of a dog, it is important to remember, they are bred to hunt birds. That's why they are active, they like movement, and on a walk they can easily take off in pursuit of a lizard, butterfly, or bird. The task of the owner is the first thing to train the dog to stay close. There are as many breeds in the world as there are different requirements for dogs. What suits one dog owner will categorically not suit another. The Cavalier is not objectively the best dog for all occasions or the worst dog in the world, but some breed characteristics will have to be considered when choosing. Cavalier King Charles Spaniel Pros The list of pros of the breed is difficult to finish, this breed is considered a successful combination of the pluses of small size without the characteristic problems like squabbling, morbidity, and uncontrollability. Cavaliers have a cheerful disposition, good-natured, very attached to people. This is the ideal companion dog for babies and older people, he is ready for interaction all the time and does not get tired of games. Cavalier is ideal for a large family with children of different ages for active games and elderly relatives, because the dog loves to sleep on the owner's lap. The dog's coexistence is evident in how easily it establishes contact with its congeners and other animals, it gets along well with all the pets in the house, and the saying about the cat and the dog will be remembered only as a joke. Attractive appearance of the dog is an additional plus. The bright contrasting color draws attention to the animal. Despite the long coat, the breed standard does not require much trouble with haircutting and grooming. All you need to do is trim the excess hair between the toes, otherwise it can pile up. A small dog doesn't require much in the way of food, and it doesn't take up unnecessary space in the apartment, because it's smaller than some cats. Its love of outdoor games and activity will keep its owners from lingering at home. Owners appreciate the Cavalier's intelligence. Unlike most small and silly breeds, these Spaniels are perfectly trainable and have an excellent memory. They learn more slowly than sheepdogs or huskies, but they master what they have learned quickly and reliably. The breed perfectly suits beginner owners. Even an easygoing grandmother can raise an intelligent dog that does not want to be a leader. Unpretentiousness in content, a simple diet will not cause any difficulties. They just need to be loved. Cavalier King Charles Spaniel Cons Minor breed defects are not a reason to give up on a beautiful, friendly dog. This list of cautions will help you find out if you can give your new family member the right conditions and raise him to be healthy. A small animal has trouble tolerating damp and low temperatures. You can't keep him in the yard or leave him in a drafty kennel. For walking in low temperatures, the dog will need a walking sweater or overalls. A dog's long coat requires some attention, he should be scratched with a stiff brush at least a couple of times a week or else he'll end up with lumps. Witty owners even wear a special cap to every meal to keep his ears clean and not get into the bowl. Cavaliers get fat easily and have an excellent appetite. The animal is bred to hunt, the need for movement and calories remains elevated. The dog's ration will have to be calculated, and begging will have to be suppressed. 
However, jogging together is a great alternative. Occasionally dogs are willing to cheat, driven by their hunting nature. They may well hide their master's slippers or other small necessities in hopes of attention. Cavaliers have shallow skeletons and brittle bones. It's a dangerous decision to leave a dog as a live toy for a small child, they often get hurt when they play carelessly. Another skeletal problem is weakness of the intervertebral discs. The dog is contraindicated from high jumps. Jumping on a couch without a stand and long walks on the steps are excluded. Going downstairs is possible only in the elevator. A characteristic breed problem is susceptibility to vascular and heart disease. Unscrupulous breeders often do not cull sick parents from breeding, resulting in suffering and puppies and new owners. The owner will have to take the dog for preventive examinations from time to time. Cavaliers need so much interaction with their owners that they can hardly stand to be left alone. If you lock them in the apartment and leave for several hours, the dog can't occupy himself or sleep the entire time. The cavalier may start chewing and dragging things. He will probably howl under the door, causing tears of sympathy from all the neighbors in the entryway. If left alone often, the pet may become depressed and sick with boredom. Interesting fact about the breed, bred in England back in the 17th century, over time cavaliers went out of fashion. For the second time the breed was able to return thanks to American fan Roswell Eldridge. The famous fan of Spaniels carefully studied ancient canvases on which artists painted the royal family with their pets. He was willing to pay the breeders fabulous sums of money to achieve the old type of dogs. The effort was not lost in vain, by 1928 there was already a club of connoisseurs of the breed, since then the standard is carefully preserved, which means that anyone today can have a close friend, worthy of any kings. Are you thinking about getting a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel? Let us know what you decide in the comments below. And if you know someone who's thinking about getting a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, please share this with them. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Otherwise, have a great day. Thanks for watching.